and sisters, uh, welcome to MP Radio. Um, I'm honored and blessed to have my friend Tom from Oxford University. I'm very excited. I think our show is going to be exciting as well. Um, be with us. And inshallah, you will enjoy it. And make sure your kids, if they're around you, get them around and to hear a great young man. He is a young man. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, would you like to introduce yourself to our viewers? Thank you, Ishak. I'd love to. My name is Tom Daggett. Um, I currently work at St. Paul's Cathedral, but have been involved in grassroots politics in East London for the past five years. And immediately before that, I did indeed go to Oxford University and uh, studied music, actually. And I was the first person um, in my family to go to university. My parents didn't go. So I'd be privileged to talk about that with you a little bit. Um, and before that, I went to school in Blackburn, to a state school in Blackburn, and grew up in Burnley. Um, so I've sort of had a gradual migration south and now find myself uh, firmly rooted in London and uh, find it absolutely impossible to leave because I love this place and the people and the culture that it brings. So hopefully we can talk about some of these things Fantastic, uh, in the next you know. period of time, but it's really good to be here with you, and uh, thank you to MP Radio for having us on. It's very good to be here. I'm glad you made it too. Honestly, how, so how hard work did you have to do to go to Oxford University? This is one of the biggest universities in the world. Yeah. It's amazing, honestly. It is, a, it is a big thing. I was the only person in my year to go to Oxford. Um, I sort of fell into it by accident, I suppose, um, what happened was I, I looked at a prospectus for the place and fell in love with the architecture and the history of it and um, was desperate to go, actually. And so what kind of grades did you have to have to go to? Well, I mean, I, I did quite well in GCSEs. Uh, so usually you would do sort of A's and A stars, I think. Um, and then I did four subjects at A level and uh, did work very hard, actually. The thing I did was work most hard in my first year in uh, sixth form um, and that put me in a position where I was able to apply and um, I don't know I must have the gift of the gab or something Ishak, but <laughs> <laughs> managed to talk my uh, interviewers and my tutor into letting me you know, go to study there but it wasn't easy and um, takes a lot of personal motivation and the ability to see into the future actually to an extent because you have to be able to understand that it's better to put the hard work in now and then you reap the benefits and that was what, what advice that was really would you about. give to young people who done really really i know a person she done um, 11 air stars right in gcse and stuff like that wow people like them what kind of advice would you give to the muslim youth especially because they are a bit diverted probably in different ways. What would you, advice would you give it to them? Well, I went to a school in Blackburn and we had um, a large number of Muslim students, um, many of whom went on to go to university. And we were a state school in Blackburn. And actually, I think the important thing is to understand that you can genuinely achieve anything you want to if you put the work in. Um, you don't have to remain in East London. Uh, you can move around the country and then come back. Um, you will make new friends, you need to broaden your horizons, these are all good things. Um, but ultimately, actually, there are no barriers at all in going to a place like Oxford. There's a lot of misconceptions about the university, that it's for the privileged, or that it's for a certain type of person, but it's just not true. Oh, really? Actually. I was going to ask you that. I'm glad you said it. Yeah, it's no, it's just not true. Um, so these are myths um, which are bandied around all too often. And actually, there's a great richness in, in diversity and culture in a place like Oxford University and Cambridge and others. Um, so I would say to Muslim youth who are doing well in their studies, you should absolutely aim for the top because you're in a privileged position and you can become a leader. Um, and you, I mean, I think of leadership in lots of ways. Um, showing an example to those younger is one way. Um, looking at the issues in your community and being plugged in is another and these help to make you a rounded person. Um, so it's not necessarily just about business leadership or political leadership, um, but taking every opportunity you can as a young person in your neighbourhood with the people that you know to build yourself ultimately is going to make you um, in a much stronger position in life. And you will find that you're able to enjoy opportunities like going to top universities 
and um, and and making real change for yourself. So I would I would really um, big up anybody who's sort of flirting with the idea and and say go for.